Hey guys, a lot of people have been having trouble setting up their GameCube controllers with Rivals of Aether, so I'm here to show you how. The first thing you need to do is download something called Xbox 360 CE. What you want to do is download the 32-bit version. I will provide a link in the description to this download page. Once you download that, you'll get something that's just x360ce.exe. You're going to want to move that to your Steam Apps Common Rivals of Aether. It'll be under whatever drive you installed uh, Rivals of Aether into. So in my instance, it's in the E drive, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Rivals of Aether. Just plop it down right in there. Um, and when you run it for the first time, it'll add a bunch of these other files. Don't worry about that. All you should do is open X360 CE. Once you get there, you'll get a screen looking a bit like this, but there'll probably be a lot more buttons figured out. What you're going to do here is you're going to be mapping your buttons uh, with your GameCube controller. So obviously it shows an Xbox and you're gonna have to kind of translate what buttons are what but uh, I kinda got an easy guide for you. So um, the only tricky things are the face buttons. Um, so A is obviously just your standard attack, X is your specials, and Y is jump. Now I don't have B bound in this because I don't have a button mapped to uh, strong attack as uh, they have in Rivals of Aether, but if you want to uh, Y seems like a comfortable choice or Z if you're into that uh, But otherwise uh, Once again, you know just a a X B uh, If you use Y or I, I X jump, so that's why I said uh, I bound uh, X to the Y button on there you'll also need to set the uh, triggers and bumpers and then setting this is really easy. You just go to a trigger uh, record and then hold down L and there you go you'll do that for all the buttons just click on it hit record and then record the button you know hit the button that you want to be mapped to that um, you'll have to do this with the C stick and the can uh, and the analog stick although I think sometimes they come up set up it, it depends on your adapter but once you've got all the buttons uh, configured to how you like it um, you will need to move on to the left thumb now, uh, this is your control stick. This is basically the dead zones, anti-dead zones, the sensitivity. These are the recommended settings uh, set by the guide on the subreddit. Uh, so for each of them, it's just uh, 0, 8%, 100. Make sure it's inverted. 0, 8%, 100. Uh, your little graph uh, should look like this. So once you've got that all configured, um, you know, next time uh, we got to move on to the right thumb. Um, this is your uh, C-Stick. Uh, same thing, 80%, uh, 40%, 0, 80%, 40%, 0. Do not invert it. All right. And uh, that should be it. I don't think there's really anything else you need to know. I should also mention that when you are, uh, when you have, uh, like I am using the Mayflash 2 port adapter, so obviously you're going to need to either, uh, Gamepad 1 is one port, Gamepad 2 is another port. So if you're doing, uh, you know, yeah, you make sure you're on the right pad. Obviously you can just go to the general screen and just kind of move your uh, control stick or, you know, any stick and it, it, it should respond. Most of the adapters, uh, you don't have to bind the uh, control sticks or analog stick at all. Um, but an easy way to, uh, like, let's say you want to have someone else play with you locally and you want to map the second controller the same way you set up the first controller. Well, if you go to the first controller, go to controller settings, you can save a profile. Then all you have to do is click on the second pad or how many you want and then hit load, the one that you just saved, and it should it should upload your settings directly. Now obviously when I move, this is port two, so it doesn't do anything, but this is port one. So it'll just copy over your settings. I hope you found this useful. If you have any problems, leave a comment in the description. Otherwise, thank you.